time, my name's Nate Menzel. I'm the creator and host of Survivor UTK. I started this project because I'm a big fan of Survivor and I'm trying to get cast on the show. So producers, if you're seeing this, please cast me. Um, to preface, this key is a hidden immunity idol. So all somebody would have to do to get the idol is ask me and I'll give it to them. Easy peasy. Welcome everybody to Survivor UTK. I'm Nate, and this is your first challenge. Yes. So for the yellow tribe, we have Luke, Annabelle, Ben, Elizabeth, Keegan, Travis, uh, Briley, and Natalie. <laughs> And then um, the blue tribe is going to be Ryan, Cole, Griffin, Brent, Sarah, Maddie, Victoria, and Isla. Let's do it, man. All right. What's going on? What's going on? So you guys can put those on however you like, as long as they're visible in the camera. Um, please take care of them. I don't have any replacements because that's all that Walmart has. <laughs> the challenge today is going to be a UT trivia challenge. I'm going to ask uh, one team starting with yellow uh, a question, and if they get it wrong, I will ask blue, and vice versa. If blue gets it wrong, I'll, I'll ask yellow. If you get it right, you get a point. The team with the most points at the end wins. If you're tied at the end, I have a tiebreaker question. Here we go. All right, Yellow Tribe. Our first game of football this season was against Ball State. How many points did we win by? All right, what's y'all's answer? We won by 40. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Blue Tribe, how many years, including this year, has Dondi been our chancellor? Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, say, it. Say, say it loudly. This is Dondi's fourth year. That's correct. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. One point each. Yellow Tribe, who is the winningest coach in women's college basketball history? That's <laughs> That's correct. Blue Tribe, how many generations of Smokey have there been? All right. We would like to say 11. That's correct. Three one. All right. Yellow Tribe, which dorm did Peyton Manning live in? Blue Tribe, what is the torchbearer holding in his right hand? Yeah. Alright. Alright, is it a book? Not a book. We're going to say the book. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is quickly getting out of hand. Yellow Tribe, what was the original name of UTK when it was founded? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to go back to Max College. I know. Oh, dang. Right. Right. We're going to go to Eastern City University. It is Lounge College. Oh my god. Tennessee. Yellow Tribe. How many years old is UTK? That's and so you cool. have to get it within three. Wait, no. This is good. 226 years old. That is within three. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We have the exact answer. Uh, yeah, he said I have within three. Have to give it to <laughs> there are two words on the seal. What are they? And it's not the University of Tennessee 1794. Uh, agriculture and business. Nope. Yeah. Agricultural business. Nope. Ooh. Agricultural commerce. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we were so close. <laughs> what breed of dog is smoking? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Blue tribe. There's a famous squirrel 
Yes. That often wears UTK gear. What is his name? Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Tribe, how many national championships does Pat Summit have? have on the side. You go six. Nope. No. <laughs> All right, what do y'all think? That's right. Oh, 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 oh. He's got the eyes. The eyes. Yellow Tribe, what is the most points UTK has ever scored in a football game? Get within two. Uh, we're going to go with 75. 75. That's exactly right. Oh, yeah. Okay. How many former balls currently play in the NFL? Twenty-one. Nope. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Yellow Tribe. Who has the all-time sack record for UTK? Is it Reggie White? Does not. <laughs> no. It is Derek Arnold. What? Blue Tribe. What year was the torchbearer put on campus? I'll give it to you if you get within three. It is 1974. No. 1980. No. 1964. Oh! oh. <laughs> And that's the end of our first challenge. Congratulations, Yellow Team. Yeah. 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 We're going to go back and we don't even have place. And here. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh. 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 So whoever wants to take this for the like week. Trevor Carey at the challenge. Yeah. I guess Trevor Carey. And then Blue Tribe, I'll see you guys on Thursday at 8 for Tribal Council or one of y'all will be the first person voted off of Survivor UTK. Trap is spoken. So we have a Zoom tomorrow at eight o'clock. Sorry, I'm so sorry I did not tell I did you not that. But I've been super vague on it, and I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of detail. Um, we are going to be talking to somebody who was on Survivor, um, and what I forgot to tell you before the challenge, and why I threw those cards on the ground is I wanted to tell you. So we started off with a $200 pot, but that's probably gonna get bigger because I have sponsors. So I have three different sponsors and then the fourth one is pending. So what we're talking about is money, real money. Sun In, Camperin, and Zaps It. Yes. Are our sponsors and then I think that's everything I have I'll see you guys on Thursday and I'll see you guys on Tuesday we my tribe the blue tribe just um, lost our challenge so we're going to tribal council and we all just met up at the library but no strategizing was done which I was disappointed by and also um, now I'm paranoid that they want to get out me, which I don't think they actually are. But anyways, I'm looking for a hidden immunity at, at the rock. How do I switch this? At the rock. Here I am. It's currently midnight. Um, and I'm really afraid I'm getting kidnapped or something out here. Um, but you know, grind doesn't stop for Survivor. So that's what we're doing right now. And I do not think there is an immunity idol here. I'm starting to think they might be inside. Because I guess weather would affect it so next steps are probably like hodges so last night's challenge was rough uh obviously did not do as well as i would have hoped no one wants to lose their first challenge in survivor uh so we're going to tribal council tomorrow not looking forward to it uh, especially since i think i talked too much made myself too visible so i'm someone who's too memorable where if I rub people the wrong way, it's gonna be very easy for them to just write my name down. Um, so I'm gonna to try to make contact with some of the other folks, see who they're going for, because honestly, I'd be fine with anyone as long as it isn't me, at least in these early stages. Um, 
once we get farther in, then I can start worrying a couple steps in advance. But for now, can't really afford to do that. Uh, especially since I wasn't at the library where a lot of the other ones went. So Ryan had said something about all meeting tonight at his place. So I'm gonna try to do that, see if I can co-mingle or whatnot. Uh, see how it goes. Okay, so after our challenge, which went horribly for us, um, but we tried, our group decided to stay after for a little and we just like hung out and talked and got to know each other and bonded and everything, which is fun because I, I really like everyone on the tribe. I'm really, it's gonna be sad to vote someone out on Thursday, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So yeah, we hung out and got to know each other. Um, I did not see the yellow tribe doing that, so hopefully we have an advantage there. <laughs> this is confessional one, guys. <laughs> confessional one. We won immunity for week one. Let's go, Slay. Yeah, not even, not yeah, close. Not even close. Blowout, uh, blowout challenge. This is the confessional to show, you know how like people are, they set us up for foreshadowing and it's like, oh, we're all going to look for the idol together. We're all friends. <laughs> and then someone later goes, I'm not friends with <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're gonna act like we're friends. We're all looking for the idol together Our thought process is that Nate would put it in a place that we would all know about a and B like a very heavy heavily footed Place So all five of us are gonna put something on our ballot to signify that we all voted together Yeah, should we say that out loud? What we're gonna do we? Yeah. We can, yeah, I'm doing a star. I'm gonna do all caps. I'm gonna do an explanation point. I'm gonna do a heart. I'll underline it Okay, correct. Right. Okay, so we have now checked uh, the outside of a lot of places on campus. Um, yeah, we're kind of just going in a circle, hitting most of the most of the well-traversed paths. So like Ped Walkway, around the library, around Strong, uh, back down Ped, and now we're going towards the Rock, which is a very commonly used pathway. Like it, it really could be anywhere on campus. Yeah, I really we have narrowed it down to possibly outside probably outside probably outside because that's the only place that everybody can always reach yes um and i don't think we've explicitly said the plan out loud but us five if we find the idol we're going to keep the idol through the merge um just to have a, a voting block power in case the other tribe wins challenges <laughs> yeah so which we don't expect to happen correct we're but, very confident in who we are but it's us five the five amigos that's not our official name, but I just don't have a name for us right now. So we're walking through the library because we thought he would hide it in a book that was written by Jeff Probst. Warmer. Warmer. Unfortunately, or books on Survivor. Or books on Survivor. There are no books by Jeff Probst. <laughs> the, library, the academic library. <laughs> because no one here is writing a peer-reviewed paper or dissertation on Jeff Probst. Um, yeah, this is really unfortunate. You kind of all of my face there. Um, but we are gonna go walk to Pat Summit's, um, Pat Summit's, what's it called? Uh, statue. Um, hopefully we get a little bit more information there. So yeah, yeah. Also, this is the final five. <laughs> We're still searching for your hidden immunity idol. It's been like three hours. Yeah, there's five, the, the five amigos, it's a running name. It's not, it's not the, the name we're going with. The name could be Slay, we just haven't decided. We haven't decided. Slay. We, we don't know what's a clue, what's not a clue, what you've like laid out for us here. Um, we're back at Strong though. Uh, it's not down there. Hey, hey Nate, if you don't give us a clue soon, we're gonna start publicly destroying things. <laughs> and you're gonna be attacked because we're all wearing this. That's right. We're gonna be chanting your name the entire time we do it. Just Nate, 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 Nate. Nate, Nate. <laughs> it's in the name of Nate. Now, if you would, wouldn't mind just one hint. What's your yeah, major just, and where are your classes? Can yeah. you drop your, drop your schedule? What were you doing today before you hid the idols? <laughs> where do you, you, where do you live? Where, where do you, you live? Yeah. Social security number. Do you go to the T-Rex to work out? Oh, so <laughs> Banking information. You're routing an account <laughs> number, please. Credit card um, information. Yeah, so we're going to need all that information uh, ASAP pronto. Thank you. All right, we ended up splitting a few minutes ago. And I, told, I said I was going to, back to my apartment, but, um, you know, sit around strong. May as well search the last Smokey. And there's nothing here. 
Yeah, it's late. I've got work to do. Yeah, I'm gonna head off. Maybe search in the morning. Okay, we've decided to make a final two. Forgot final to two. video. Um, we're freshmen. So we're girls. Freshmen girls. We're in the um, Slay Alliance. Slay Alliance. So we were with Ben, Travis, and Keegan. Keegan. Good job listing names. Jesus, that scared me. Love it um, when men follow. Um. And women of the world, unite! And we were looking for the idol for like two hours. Yeah. But we're, we're not going to um, tell the rest of the alliance that it was two hours. No. We're going to tell them that we were searching for like an extra yeah. five, ten minutes and yeah. then gave up. And then we kind of gave up and went home. Um, but we just all went our separate ways. And Ben walked away alone. Ben and Travis kind of and Keegan. Walked home together. Yeah. But I think they're looking for the idol. Obviously. Um, ben is kind of the outlier in the group. The, the plan is if something slips up, then... The two of us and Keegan, Keegan and, Travis and Travis would vote Ben off. Would vote Ben out immediately, and we assume that Keegan and Travis have now formed a final two the because thing, they vibe. Yeah. They vibe, but I think I also vibe with Keegan. Yeah, we like Keegan. And we Keegan, trust Keegan. Travis, he can't lie. Travis is a grad student. Yeah, he's the he's old guy. Older than us. He's the classic old like, man. What, literally like six years older than us? He was born in 1990, like, or 1999. Like, <sighs> Must have been dark times, those 90s. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Born in 2003, That's like. 2004. Yeah, like, um, he's old. It is very embarrassing. Yeah, he's not but, even an undergrad. Like, he's a graduate student. Like, he's yeah. old. Um, but we love him and we trust we him. We love him, but he is We trust him as long as we need him. Than us. He yeah. is, I think he... Him and me are probably the biggest fans out of the group, yes. I would say. Definitely the most um, knowledgeable. Um, but he's sneaky. Yes. And like he literally He's gonna like, do he everything said, he can to he win. He said he will not go home until he at least like searches for like a long time for this idol. So he's probably still looking. Yeah. Um Keegan is kind of opposite. He's very like He seems like he's not going he's to be able to lie. Some. He's very like he seems very honest. Yeah. And so like I think down the road. Travis is gonna try some shit some sometime. Oh yeah. Can well, we curse like, on this? I mean, they can censor it. True. Nope. Mm. Probably not. Yesterday we did trivia and we won. Go yellow team. And then afterwards we looked for the hidden item, the immunity thing. Um, and I think I'm gonna look more today. I have lots of homework. Yay, college. If I find it. I'm keeping it. I'm not giving it to anyone else. I'm keeping it and I will use it. I'm going to tell my team, obviously, if I find it, maybe. I'm going to be friends and friendly, but I think I'm going to act a lot too. Like, I think I'm going to act closer than I really am because I want to win. But I really, really like my tribe. I'm really liking my group of people. Everyone there seems really good. Something that was weird, though, is that... It's like hard to like them and like want to be close friends with them because now that we heard that we have more sponsors, which thank you so much to all of our sponsors for sponsoring us. Um, we all really appreciate it. That means that the money is higher, like the, the prize money will be higher. And I don't, I don't know, like I want to vote off the, the person that I think is like the best, which I already have somebody in mind. Um, but then also we want to win the challenges so it's like you need to keep the strongest people but you can't keep them for too long because they can vote you off and win so i definitely see like the leaders of the pack i would like to say that i'm kind of one of them i'm kind of like up there um but maybe i'm not you know maybe it's just what i think but yeah someone approached me and asked if I wanted to go get dinner um but I mean obviously it wasn't actually dinner it was just I don't know I don't know so I'm thinking I want to make an alliance with him definitely okay so I think this is how I'm gonna do my confessional um but <laughs> we won we won um first of all the yellow tribe until I die like well I can't get the Yellow tribe till we die, but um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tie the buff around him, her, whatever gender it wants to be. 
or inclusive here. Um, but I, we were just looking for the hidden immunity idol for two hours. Um, we couldn't find it. So we're here now. Um, we're safe for this week. But I think our alliance, our final five alliance is pretty strong. Um, I did make a pact with Keegan for the final two. I don't know if he if he's going to stick to that. Um, but we shook on ride or die. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely happy. I love doing this. This is so much fun. So when everybody sits down. Yep. We're good. good. All right. So I would like to introduce uh, Kristen Parsons and my survivor guest, my best friend in the whole world, uh, Janet, who is on season 39 of Survivor. Woo! That's your cue, Janet. You gotta hit the camera button again. So how do I do that? Oh, I did it. I did it. Yes. I want to tell all of you people, first of all, congrats to all of you for being a part of this. This is amazing what you do. In a lot of ways, I think what you do is harder than what I did on Survivor. You guys really put a lot of time and effort into this, and I appreciate that. And I'm like, most of these people, if they were on the actual game, would be doing well. You have to consider the outside elements, but, you know, as far as the mental part of it, you guys are doing a great job. Janet and I wanted, before Janet gave all of her wisdom away, we wanted to toast to you guys for an amazing season <laughs> and hope that you guys have a blast. So Come cheers to you all. Janet and I are going to be the bad influences you guys drink water. Cheers <laughs> to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. All right. So there here's go, the man. biggest thing. <laughs> you guys have to, to realize that you have preconceived notions of what people should be and who they should fall into and the categories and all that, throw that all out. Because the people that are in this survivor game and many survivor, all this kind of stuff, they have things that you could admire, you could use, you can bring it into your what, however, you're going to use it into your alliance. What I'm saying to you is don't rule out anybody. That's the biggest survivor mistake is saying, oh, I got it over them. I got it over them. I got it. No, don't do that. Embrace everybody. Embrace them for who and what they are. And how are they going to make your game better? Seriously, you're going to fail if you discount somebody because you think they can't do what you can do. Don't go there. Oh. Take it off. Bye, Janet. Right? Yeah, right. I'll, I'll text you tomorrow. All right. Bye, Janet. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. So this next uh week you know next week we have off so from starting today until your next immunity challenge will be uh on that tuesday uh we're going to be raising money for a an organization called give kids the world um which Kristen will explain and you'll be raising money as a tribe and whichever tribe raises the most money will win reward okay if your tribe wins this challenge everybody on your tribe will receive an individual advantage in the game hi everyone i'm kristen um like nate had said earlier i do host an online version of a game called vanquish and we raise money for give kids the world um each season what give kids the world is is a storybook resort in florida where all the wish kids stay on their wish trips so any kid that wishes for anything Central Florida related will stay at this amazing storybook type resort. Um, so if they wish for Disney or SeaWorld or Legoland or Universal or anything like that, they will stay. It's seven days, six nights. 
you get greeted at the, at the airport and that's where the magic begins. Like they make a big to do. Um, and I guess I should probably throw this out there cause it's kind of important, but I don't normally like try and like make this cause I don't want you guys to feel bad. Um, my son went in 2018 to give kids the world on his wish trip. He is okay. He's doing great. Um, but I, also, I, I try to avoid that when talking about give kids the world. Cause then people get sad. Don't get sad. Give kids the world is not a sad place. It's an inspiring place. It's happy. It's beautiful. So you get greeted at the airport. You are royalty. They roll out the red carpet. It is amazing. The second you get to the village, you have your own personal person that comes to your villa. Each family gets their own private villa where the kids get the master bedroom. So they're the big to do. They like the parents get like the, you know, like the crappy bedroom. It's like go over there and slum it over there in the twin beds. And the kids are like with the king bed and this like giant, awesome, like bathtub. They're living life. Um, they have handicap accessible rides. So kids that would normally never be able to ride a ride, they get to ride a ride. They have a zero entry pool. So kids that normally couldn't go swim because they can't obviously stay up. They have wheelchair accessible, um, wheelchairs that are accessible to them to go into the pool and it's zero entry so they can go in there. Um, they have ice cream for breakfast. My kids will tell you ice cream for breakfast is where it's at. (laughs) There's ice cream for breakfast. Anytime it's open pretty much the entire day, day or night. And then the best part also is they have nightly parties every week. They have nightly parties from Christmas to Halloween to birthday parties where you can celebrate pretty much everything you can ever imagine in the week that you're there. And also in addition to that, you get, of course, all your tickets to the theme parks. So you get three days at Disney, two at Universal and one at SeaWorld. If you don't want to do one of those days, they have tickets galore. You could pick any park and they're like, sure. Yep. Here you go. Go to the park, have fun. If you don't want to go to the park, in addition to all the rides and the pools that they have at Give Kids World, they have an arcade. They have a carousel. They have a castle of miracles, which I'll talk to you about in a second. They've got a rock and spa where you can go get tattoos and your hair done, your nails painted. And they've got a a movie theater where they host Village Idol, aka American Idol, and they host videos and they play all this fun stuff. It's truly like walking into a storybook. Um, I can't like it's hard to describe, um, unless you've been there. I mean, prior to my son's wish, I looked up everything I could possibly look up about Give Kids World. And then I laughed at myself that I literally knew nothing when I walked in because it just does not prepare you for the beauty and the magic that is Give Kids the World. And so I just want you guys to know, I am truly honored that Nate even like thought of to do this. Give Kids the World is a beautiful place. I suggest if you want to, while you guys are fundraising, look it up. They have a village tour on YouTube, so you can actually see a video of the place. Um, But it is something truly beautiful and wish kids and families, whether the wish kid is still around or have passed on, those families talk about that trip for life. So what you guys are doing is no small feat. Raising money for this beautiful place It helps families like myself that is obviously very blessed to have my son still here and families that just get those last few moments to have those memories. It's, it's something that is truly incredible. And I thank you all ahead of time for all the money and all the good stuff that you guys are about to do for give kids world. All right, Nate. Okay. Yeah, no, that was amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. I, I really appreciate it. Your reward challenge from now until the next community challenge is to raise money, as much money as you can for Give Kids the World. That can be from you, from your family members, from your friends, from random people you don't know. Doesn't matter. The money you send uh, will go straight to Give Kids the World and uh, will help your tribe. Each team member of the winning tribe will receive an individual advantage in the game. Yeah. All right, guys, have a blast. Leave, like Janet said, leave nothing out there. Fight for that win and go get them. Everybody have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Thank you. After the second day, um, second day of the game, we had a Zoom meeting for everybody, and we met with uh, a past Survivor player, and we learned about the learned about the fundraiser that we would be doing for an advantage in the game. Um. For this Zoom meeting, I invited over everybody in the tribe just to, you know, to hang out more, get some more some more FaceTime. Um, 
kind of let everybody let everybody hang out together and, and figure out where we are. Um, I did invite over Eilish, Cole, and Victoria early. Um, I think that that can be a good preliminary um, preliminary alliance. Um, it's four people total, so after the first vote, we're gonna have the majority. So I can use that to fall back on, and I can use them to see where everybody's at in the game. Um, you know, I'd like to go to the end with these people, but it's a long game and a lot happens at every, every time. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I just invited them over early to see where their head's at, see if we can figure out the first vote, maybe the first few votes. Um, and then everybody that came to the Zoom meeting, it was everybody except for Sarah, um, which she got the invite, but she was, she was busy working, which is, you know, uh, a disadvantage to her, I would say, but there's nothing, nothing you can really do about that. Um, and then with obviously the day after that meeting, we have tribal council, uh, made the first vote, uh, pretty easy. I think we're going to go with Sarah, um, going forward, it's going to be tough, but Sarah's gone. We'll have the majority, uh, and we'll see what happens from there. Today, for the, the first time, we were talking about how pretty much everything in the, the show's gone so far, and Ryan had a lovely idea of forming the first alliance, which, I mean, I'm, I was happy to be a part of. The alliance actually decided we were going to vote out Sarah, and that's nothing against Sarah. Like, we had only known Sarah for 24 hours, but considering, like, she wasn't able to make it tonight to, like, the Zoom thing, it's hard to, like, make an impression off 24 hours, but that was my impression. So... The question is, do you feel confident in your four-person alliance? So, uh, yeah. I'm sure it's fine. If anything happens, then... I don't know. It'll be fine. I am on a scale of 1 to 10. I would say, oh yeah, I'm definitely not going home. So, uh, very confident extremely confident do you think you could work with these people long term or are you writing this to make sure you get to the merge mm. i think i could work with them long term yeah but yeah i recently found out about the merge like two days ago so that was crazy. I thought we were going to be in separate teams this whole time. So this has been a whole surprise so far. Anyway, so I didn't even get to think about that part yet. I'm here for the vibes, which it's really funny how I've ended up in a group because I really did not need to be in one yet. I was planning on getting voted out maybe next week or the week after i think that'll be a good time so i don't know how to break it to the team because now that they've added me into the group i kind of i well i don't think they would depend on me but i would kind of feel bad if i left and they expected me to be there for much longer nah they'll be, it'll be fine they'll just replace me with somebody else it's fine going into tribal this week i'm feeling pretty safe i don't think that anything too big is gonna happen i think we've all pretty much come to a decision um so i think it's gonna be a pretty easy vote hopefully i hope i don't regret saying that um i don't think there's much of a strategy i think it was kind of just who went to like how we hung out and stuff um because we all like each other so far um no one's really standing out as anyone that we want to vote out everyone's super nice but unfortunately we have to um and after this week i think it will be kind of hard to decide who goes out next if we do lose a challenge um i think that's when the real game will start because we all really like each other so it'll be kind of hard unless i'm getting blindsided <laughs> okay so as i am heading over to tribal council um you know, a big question is like, do I feel safe? Like what, like who do I want out? Who do I like work well with? And it's definitely hard to say just because we have been doing this for such a short amount of time. Um, and I'm super busy this year. I will say like, I don't feel safe um, 
there were some things that like the tribe did last night that I didn't I wasn't able to go to due to school work and you know there were some things that when we were after our first challenge that we lost like I was kind of the first one to leave so I definitely feel like I'm at risk of being voted out tonight um but if I am safe till the next week I definitely feel like I need to reach out to more people um I didn't really do a whole lot of that just in this span of two days again it's been a really hectic and crazy week so I didn't really get the opportunity to do that if I am voted out tonight I don't think that I would feel like it was unjustified um so yeah I can't really say that there's any one person that I would want out tonight or that I don't work well with all of the people that I've met so far seem really nice and chill and like willing to compete so you know I feel like that's all you can really ask for like right now at this moment Tribe, welcome to the first tribal council. Not where you want to be, um, but hopefully after this, you'll be stronger, more unified. So at this point in the game, everyone's just trying to fit in. Nobody wants to stand out. Um, so Maddie, what do you do to make sure that you don't stand out in a bad way? I don't know, I feel like you just try to make friends with everyone, kind of, and I don't know, I feel like some people's strategies to like lay low and be friends with everyone, and then some people like want to take the lead so they're being helpful and people see that they're needed in the group, I guess. Yeah, so you've only competed in one challenge so far, but a big reason that a lot of people are voted out of Survivor is challenge performance. So Sarah, with only one challenge so far, is that a valid reason to actually go after somebody is if they performed bad in one challenge? I feel like it's not. Well, I only say that because I didn't help that much, but I'm not that great at trivia. But like, it was so quick and there was no like physical component behind it. So I feel like a lot of us maybe are stronger in different areas. So it's like, if you're stronger physically or like, I feel like that's not a fair reason to just vote you out in the first. Yeah. Okay, I also feel like it's a little unfair to, like just for that challenge specifically, because we had like some seniors who have been here like the whole yeah. four years or whatever, and like sure. some people haven't been here as long. So I feel like you can't really base it off of the first challenge. I want, I want to combine the first two questions. Okay. If, if somebody came to you and said, hey, I want to get this person out because they did poorly in the first challenge, what would you say to them? I would say that's probably not fair. And I feel like just the time we were there, like we didn't get to know everybody. Like, obviously it was like two days ago. We're not living with each other. So I feel like it would not be fair. I would probably tell them like, oh, like, like I need, like you kind of need more of a reason to put somebody out after that. And also, especially for that first challenge, it wasn't really like there was one person who was dropping the ball. Yeah. Like, like there's, there's no basis to go after a specific person because of that. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. So I'll ask you next. Do you see any alliances forming yet? I haven't seen any yet, but also, I mean, it's like Sarah was saying, um, like we aren't living on an island together. All of our alliances are probably going to be formed like through text where there's no way for any of the rest of us to really see it. You know, yeah. like the only interaction that we would have witnessed in each other is the library where I was there, like several of us were not a part of that. So I don't know what went down there. And then like the Zoom call the other day where it was like, it was like everyone together pretty much. So there's not really enough time for people to split off into splinter groups, you know, where you would see them making alliances. Yeah, so you mentioned the Zoom call. Um, I'll go to Ryan. So on the Zoom call, you guys were all at your apartment. Mm -hmm. um, was that more to just hang out with everybody, get to know everybody, or was that like kind of a tactic to 
intimidate the other team to show them that you're more unified <laughs> than they are? Because they were all separate. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't think it was a tactic when I offered to have everybody over. But we mentioned when we were all together, we were like, well, I mean, the other, everybody else is just in their dorms or in their apartments, and they're like barely even paying attention to each other, and we're all here bonding and hanging out. So I guess the next, the next challenge, we're going to do really well and all that stuff. But no, it, it wasn't really, there wasn't really any ulterior motives. It was just, I mean, it was honestly selfishly easy enough for me to just have everybody go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, it was nice because I mean, we're hopefully going to be friends for a while and stuff. And yeah. So hanging out as much as we can after meeting each other the day before. Yeah. So Griffin, losing two challenges in a row uh, isn't ideal. Um, and obviously you don't want to do that. So do you... Or does everybody have a plan for how you're going to turn around your challenge performance? I don't think we have a set plan yet, but I think we'll definitely do better next time, especially if it's not trivia. <laughs> it's not trivia. I think we know each other better now. We'll be able to work as a team better, so I think that'll definitely help us in the next challenge. I confirmed on the first day that there is at least one hidden immunity idol in play this season. Well, it's called hiding in plain sight. Has that affected any strategy at all? And have you looked for it? Well, it's been very interesting because yesterday during the Zoom, when the opposing team discussed, you know, getting out there, starting to look for it, I think that really took me as a surprise because I was like, man, I've not even taken a step towards looking mm -hmm. towards it yet. And I didn't think somebody would get involved within the first like 24 hours of looking for, like, for it. So I think that definitely motivated our team a little bit. Like we all heard him say that, so. I mean, it's been 24 hours since we were on that Zoom. Has anybody looked since then? I felt like we're busy now. We have had quizzes. I was excited to be yeah. home for a little bit of time. Like it's a big campus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is a big Just based on the fact that they don't. Yeah. I don't think, think we won't get it. <laughs> the, only, the only thing you know about it is that it's on campus. Like for me, I looked around the bushes near Strong as I was walking back from lunch. So I was like glancing through, but I didn't want my lunch to get cold. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig through the bushes, you know, based on a hunch. But Victoria, <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, how confident do you feel that you're not going home tonight? So, why would you ask me that again? <laughs> again? Now everyone can know your, I asked her on the confessional. Because I sent everybody confessional questions. Uh -huh. I didn't send them to you because you did a good job of just sending me a bunch. So, good job. Mm, I see why now. Okay, so I am, I would say, um, very confident. Yeah. Scale of 1 to 10, very confident. Mm -hmm. Right on. Okay. Y'all kind of already answered this. You know that your reward challenge going into this next bye week is to raise money for Give Kids the World. How has losing the immunity challenge affected y'all's, um, you wanting to win the reward challenge? I feel like we came together more because like we did the Zoom thing and like that kind of thing. So I think losing has brought us together and then because we were brought together, Last night we brainstormed the idea to like sell popsicles on Ped next week to raise money. Um, and also we were saying yesterday that like the other team doesn't really have as much incentive as we do to get a reward. Um, and they also haven't been together. So I think it affected us a lot. Yeah. And I think we're gonna win. So. And I, I do like that popsicle idea. All right. With that, we will get to the voting. We'll say Maddie. Maddie, you can go first. Okay. Sorry, Sarah, but you didn't come to the Zoom yesterday, and we just didn't really get a chance to know you. So this is kind of the easy, this easy vote. Sorry. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm going home. And I have nothing against this person, but I literally don't know who else to put. Bad luck that you weren't there. Sorry. I'm sorry. No hard feelings. I feel bad because everyone's really nice, but someone has to go tonight. I'm 
not really anything against you, but uh, it's the first step and uh, hopefully my master plan. Alright, I'll go tally the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> Alright, I will tally the votes. First vote, Sarah. Second vote, Sarah. Sarah. Next vote. Brent. So that's one Brent and three Sarah. Sarah. Fifth vote and the first person voted out of Survivor UTK, Sarah. That's five, that's enough. If you'll bring me your buff. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye Sarah. So everybody here voted for Sarah. It seems you guys are unified right now, but if you come and travel again, we'll see if that lasts. I think I got voted out because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really connect, like I didn't really reach out to anybody through texts. Um, I didn't really go to Ryan's house when they did the whole Zoom thing. So like, it's understandable, like the one person that wasn't there, they're like, Nobody really knows each other, so, I mean, if it were me, I would say, yeah, the one person who's not here, let's just vote them out, so, no hard feelings. All right, so this is Nate. Hi, as you all know. I'm Nate. <laughs> uh, we are currently auditioning for The Real Show. As Survivor Casting. That's right, open casting in Bowling Green. Um, oh, yeah. This, this is supposed to be a confessional, but I don't know what we're confessing to. Our confessional is, uh, this is after the episode, extra content, get to know Travis and I better. Okay, I don't think Nate knows who he's dealing with here. I just guessed the Wi-Fi password. A winner. I'm, I'm he's going. a winner. I don't know what Nate has. And Nate has like listed down who he thinks was going to win, like where they're going to place. Um, at just, the end you just moved up 16 spots. <laughs> 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 no, but it might be a little bit illegal. Cheers to your, your game, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so what am I doing here tonight? Um, you get to be the celebrity. Yes, <laughs> <Okay>. exactly. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about starting a content strike. We're gonna give the most deadpan <laughs> confessionals you've ever seen in your life. I mean, those the were worst, the worst content you've ever seen. If if Nate doesn't give us a clue, I have twelve other people giving me good content for the most part. I'm gonna um, get I them think, to hop I on the train. Guys, I could be voting or not. Mm. <laughs> we're, just vote for Nate. we're gonna vote for Nate. Content strike. <laughs>